Everyone knows somebody that gets seasick. What are your special hacks? These are mine. Everyone knows somebody that gets seasick or says that they are not going to go on a cruise because they get seasick. These are the handy hints that I always suggest to people when they are going to cruise. So, of course, the traditional thing is when you book a cabin, you book in the middle and low so that you don't get the tilt either way when the, in the waves. The other one is reduce the amount of alcohol that you consume and the amount of rich foods, which unfortunately is one of the reasons that you go cruising. You can take over-the-counter medications such as the patch, etc. And you could also get some prescription medication like on Danzatron or Maxilon, which are good for motion sickness. Then you'll have the traditional ones with uh, green apple. The, um, the skin of the green apple is supposed to have some therapeutic effect. You also have the green of uh, the ginger. You can take it in little gel form or in um, sweet form. And the other one is the pressure bands. You can often buy them for travel sickness that adds a pressure point. These are some of the things that you could do. In, in addition to staying on where you can see the horizon so that you've got some fresh air in your face, uh, some other practical things that you can do if you get seasick. What other things can you suggest for people that get seasick? Put a comment down below. This is Julie Jules Cruise Companion saying stay safe everybody and happy travels. Mm -hmm.